This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Many of you know him as Half of Sugarland, but Christian Bush is now pursuing another dream by going solo. I had the chance to sit down with him earlier this week, and here's what he had to say about this new period in his life. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to be here and talk to me. So we're just going to jump right in for time's sake. So tell me a little bit. You've done a lot in your career, but does it feel like you're almost starting over? I think in a lot of ways I am. You know, uh, uh, most people might recognize me or, or might might have been big Sugarland fans, or they, they see me and they're like, I know you. Um, but in a lot of ways, no one's ever really heard me sing. So they don't really know what my voice is. So I am. I'm starting all the way over at the beginning. And speaking of fans, I'm sure you have a lot of fans from Sugarland, but you're also making fans up as you go. <laughs> yeah, there, there are people that come up to me all the time. They're like, hey, man, what are you doing here? I said, oh, I'm in town. And they're like, why are you in town? I said, well, I'm playing a show. And they're like, oh, great, is it Sugarland? I was like, well, no. And they're like, well, what do you mean? And I say, well, I got a song on the radio called Trailer Hitch. And they go, shut it, that's you? Like my, my own friends are, are looking at me going, I just didn't know. Now, what has the transition process been like going from a duo to a solo artist? It's very humbling. You know, um, it's no small feat to, uh, to, to pull a dream off the ground and, and move it forward. I've done it a couple of times, and I know what muscles that you use, but it's very different, you know. Um, it, it's been a little scary walking out, um, but it's also the great relief of people cheering for you, you know, when they hear this music. It, it's irreplaceable. So then would you say there's a difference between the Christian Bush, who's part of Sugarland, and the Christian Bush that's now going solo? Uh, I, you know, I think here's the, the fun part about this sort of reveal is um, when you buy my new album, Southern Gravity, it's, it's very much the stories and the, and the grooves and the fun that you expect from a Sugarland album, but it's me singing. <laughs> so it's a little different for everyone, but now switching over and referring to your new album, Southern Gravity, and the song Trailer Hitch that's been ever so popular and it has the lyrics, never seen a hearse with a trailer hitch. What is one thing that you would take with you when you die? Oh my gosh. You know, I think uh, I would love to just take all the memories with me. You know, you can't take anything with you, but um, they say that your life flashes before your face at the, uh, in your mind. I, I, I'd love to see that movie. <laughs> Absolutely, I think we can all agree with that. Now, your new tour, Southern Gravity, is starting on the 25th. You're gonna be in New York. And you'll eventually be making your rounds to a few military bases. So what does that mean to you? You know, my, my dad and my granddad were both in the military. And uh, it's, it's amazing. And I've done this a, a few times where I've gone out and played for, for people who are working. I mean, sometimes you forget that this is their job. And they're, they're, they're a very captive audience. <laughs> uh, but they're very appreciative. And, um, you know, we start in Hawaii and, and make our way all the way through Japan. It's just... It's going to be fantastic. As mentioned in the interview, Bush's Southern Gravity Tour begins today in Buffalo, New York. And unfortunately, if you're interested in seeing him live, you're going to have to travel to Illinois. But it's an exciting transition process that we plan to follow here. Reporting live in the studio, Samantha Croy, KTBO News.